सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम सो वी आर डूइंग यू एच वी थ्री इन द मॉर्निंग सेशन एंड वी डिड अप टू लेक्चर इलेवन एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट वी आर डूइंग द प्रैक्टिस सेशन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वन एंड टू एक्सरसाइज वन वॉज ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ एंड एक्सरसाइज टू वाइल्ड डूइंग एक्सरसाइज वन वाइल ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ we also now observe the self and the body and the interaction between the two and also the world outside so in exercise 2 we are up to step 5 if we briefly recap the steps that we've done so far in exercise 2 in step 1 we observed that i am there and i can see that i am there because i can observe the activities going on within me the feelings the thoughts the expectations i also know that the body is there because i can read the sensations that are there in the body from the body i can read many sensations so i can see that the body is also there in step 2 we were trying to observe the interaction between the self and the body so we were trying to see what this interaction is like so we said that this interaction is only an exchange of information i give some instruction to the body the body follows there are many sensations in the body i read some sensation and decide or give meaning to it so whatever is this exchange that is happening is only in the form of information there is no nothing physical being transferred from one to the other there is no hard bound physical connection then in step 3 we were observing that who is the one who is deciding in all of this interaction who is the decision maker in the interaction and we saw that it is i who is the decision maker because i decide what instruction to give to the body when to give the instruction according to whatever i think is important and i read the sensations from the body as and when i think they are important whenever i want i don't read all the sensations i only read those sensations that i think are important to me so all those decisions regarding exchange of information between me and the body are entirely mine so i'm using the body like a tool but i am the seer i am the doer i am the enjoyer this we saw in step 3 in step 4 we were trying to observe the distinctness of these two realities and how there is some distance between the two i am not compelled to read each and every sensation so we asked that when we read a sensation are we that sensation or are we in that sensation or are we at a distance from the sensation and we were able to see that we are certainly not the sensation nor are we in the sensation and there appears to be some distance between me and the sensation that is how i can read it that is how i can choose to read as and when i want not all the time so there is some when we say distance between me and the sensation so there is distance between me and the body then in step 5 we were trying to see now when we interact with the body and we also want the information of the world outside how we give some meaning to whatever sensation we read and this meaning that we give is in accordance with our acceptances our assumptions our preconditionings our sanskars so if we look at the sources of the sensation that we can get from the body one is 
द इफेक्ट ऑफ सम बिहेवियर ऑफ एन अदर ह्यूमन बींग सो आउटसाइड द बॉडी somebody says something somebody gestures that is reaching my body and because of that there is some sensation in the body so for instance if somebody says something then the sound of what they are saying that sound reaches my ears and there is this leads to some sensation in the body that can be one source of a sensation another source can be that there is no phys- no human being involved but there is some physiochemical change outside that is leading to some effect on the body for instance weather change it is hot weather now due to that there is some sensation in the body a third source of sensation can be something that is happening within the body itself not necessarily related to the outside at all so there could be a pain in the head pain in the stomach the heart is beating fast whatever something is happening within the body and that is leading to what we are referring to as sensation in the body so these three sources can be there important thing to see is that none of these sensations is directly reaching the self there is some uh, effect on the body and i decide and i choose to read or not to read those sensations that you know depending on what i think is important i decide to read some sensations and i decide not to read some sensations or i don't pay attention to some sensations so whatever i think important i read and taste only those sensations as and when i think it is necessary this we were trying to see in step 5 so we said that for instance if we look at the sensation due to behavior of another human being so somebody is speaking something so there is some physical action the person is saying something that sound is reaching my ears so there is some effect on my body that sensation is there now i taste the sensation i am not compelled to taste it i choose to taste that sensation i give some meaning to that sensation that is based on whatever acceptances whatever assumptions i have these assumptions may be with understanding or without understanding so for instance if somebody is shouting if i have lack of understanding and i assume that this person is shouting at me see i have given the meaning he is shouting at me that at me i have added on because of whatever i assume to be true so when i give this kind of meaning what kind of feeling will i have and have a feeling of relationship for the other person or will i have feeling of opposition what do you think can you put in the chat opposition yes very true because i have already somewhere decided that this person is almost like attacking me so i am ready to fight back now i have feeling of opposition mentally she is saying relationship how is it relationship we can try to discuss that i would have feeling of opposition isn't it if you think otherwise we can discuss that you can raise your hand and we'll see how that can be relationship but you will see that if the some if somebody else is shouting and i think they are shouting at me 
I will tend to have feeling of opposition towards them. And then, because my feeling is one of opposition, my thoughts will also go in that direction and my behavior will follow. So I might shout back, I might hit out, whatever. On the other hand, if I have understanding, I may be able to see that this person is similar to me in the sense, I also sometimes shout, but I only shout when I am feeling disturbed inside, not when I am comfortable inside. So then I can see that this person is shouting not at me, this person is just expressing the discomfort that is there within him or her. And with concern, I can help this person try to overcome this discomfort so they can also be comfortable, they can also be happy because he also wants to be happy and he doesn't want to make me unhappy, he just lacks understanding. So now the whole meaning has changed because my acceptances are based on knowing or understanding. So you'll see how we keep giving meaning to things like this every day. When in, in terms of physiochemical event outside, there is some effect on the body and it leads to some sensation. So I taste that sensation and I give meaning according to my sanskar. So if I lack understanding, if I have assumed something without understanding and it is raining outside, I may get very disturbed and start getting upset that I wanted to go out now and now it has started raining, now I can't go outside. And it may lead to all kinds of other thoughts like, every time I have to go out, this happens. And why is it always that when I want to go out, something like this it happens, it rains, and so I keep getting disturbed and I keep complaining about it. But if I have understanding, then I can see that this is part of a natural seasonal rhythm cycle and it's okay if it's raining, I don't have to stop doing my work because of the rain. I can simply take an umbrella and go out about my work and do my work. So now the complaining is not there, I am comfortable inside and I have given now a different meaning to this rain. Similarly, in the case of the event in the body, some pain is there in the head, heart is beating fast, pain is there in the stomach, some sort of odd sensation is there. I am tasting the sensation and I give meaning to the sensation. Again, this is based on my assumptions. If I have this preconditioning, supposing I have a friend or somebody known to me who developed, say, cancer of some part of the body and it's, when I spoke to them, they said it started with these symptoms. Now I start panicking, assuming that I have the same problem and I am also assuming that I am the body, so if something goes wrong with the body, I am finished, I am gone. So I may behave accordingly, I may rush to the doctor, I may get all kinds of tests done, I may get admitted to the hospital and so on. However, if I you know, have understanding, then I understand the nature of the body, I understand the nature of the self, I understand that these are two distinct realities and the body has its own, you know, it follows the material laws. And if I can understand and have the feeling of self-regulation, then I will take responsibility for the body. So whatever it is that needs to be done for the body, I will do it. But I will not panic, 
I will not get disturbed. I will be calm and comfortable. So you can see how just giving the meaning changes the whole way of thinking about a situation and therefore the behavior also changes. So this we were supposed to observe yesterday and see if we could relate to this and if we could see it in our living all day yesterday. So if you'd like to share your observations now, we can take your observations. Or if there is any doubt or question regarding this step of the exercise or the previous steps that we have covered, then we can take that. Anybody would like to share anything? Uh, namaste, ma'am. Namaste. Namaste to all. Uh, ma'am. Um, uh, yesterday, uh, I observed the the interaction between that uh, body and the self and also how I, the self, give that uh, uh, importance, whatever I feel it is importance, so that only I can read, uh, that sensation I can read. Uh, you, regularly, I go for a walk in the morning. Uh, in that path, uh, I, the person who are stay in that home. I saw that they are doing that work, even though they are uh, in front of me. I cannot recognize their face because I am not giving the attention. If somewhere I saw, I, I cannot recognize. But in front of their house, there is a some uh, hibiscus uh, plants. Regularly, I watch. Uh, I can able to uh, notice that how the flower is there and the leaf, the plant size, everything. Because I give that uh, attention or the importance to that. So I read every, uh, read that uh, information, that sensation. But uh, mm -hmm. I am not uh, interested to see that person who are working uh, in the house. They are uh, cleaning everything. But I am not, uh, even though I am, uh, even though I saw that person, I, I am not recognizing. Uh, so, because I give that importance to see that plant, not that person, that I notice, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, when uh, most of the time, whenever I go for uh, traveling by train, uh, by the time uh, half an hour or a third, uh, twenty minutes, the train is coming late. So that uh, even though, uh, uh, sorry, uh, whenever I go for a tra uh, train station. I have a thought that, so I come in today, this day also, the train may be coming late. So that thought is coming. Uh, means I give that meaning, train is always coming late. Uh, this is decided by the self because of my previous experience. That is the meaning I give. Uh, mm -hmm. Means the train is coming late. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, in the, in the, when I cleaning my house in the balcony, some insect is bite me. Uh, so that uh, whenever I go uh, open that balcony for cleaning, I have the thought. It, the thought is coming. Something is there. I have to see like that. So I give, whatever that insect I saw there, uh, I, I, that meaning is coming. Means uh, uh, previous experience will make me to thought in that way. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, this is uh, the, my observation. Nice, nice. So important thing here is, even if we have past experiences, uh -huh. what kind of meaning we give uh -huh. can decide our happiness or unhappiness, isn't it? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah. I give a meaning that this is going to disturb me, this is going to bother me. Now I'm thinking one way mm -hmm. and I'm uncomfortable inside. But yeah. if I'm thinking that this is, you know, the nature of the insect mm -hmm. or, you know, the train may be late, but I can spend my time fruitfully while waiting for the train. I can read something. Mm -hmm. I can listen to something. Then I don't have those mm -hmm. complaints. So you can see how, you know, according to what meaning we give it, our thoughts mm -hmm. going, you know, our feeling and our thoughts start going in that direction. 
and therefore yeah. it leads to our behavior nice mm -hmm. yeah. thank you for your observation thank you, thank you. yeah hello namaste didi namaste yeah. i could observe yesterday in one of my interaction didi uh, that while talking to someone the other person was talking about someone else that okay he is like this he did like this and during that interaction i was observing myself that my thoughts uh, about the other person about whom we are talking mm -hmm. are getting influenced by whatever the person on phone was talking so mm -hmm. i was also you know because he was complaining that he did this he did this so i without even knowing my thoughts were you know getting inclined towards you know, negative side of uh, the thoughts for the other person so i could observe this during that entire conversation that how i am getting influenced very nice to the speaking of that person without even knowing anything yes so much I damage it does yeah, no yeah but i was because aware because i was yes yes and we form some opinion about yes yes so i was you know forming an opinion i was getting influence but i because i am observing myself so i was able to see that without even talking to that person and how i am getting influenced just by her speaking that okay he is like this so this i could observe yesterday and uh, yesterday it was pleasant weather in ncr so everybody is though there is the college is ac but i don't have that you know feeling that oh i should also always sit in the ac so i could observe this thing also yesterday that uh, i was i i sit in a non ac cabin so i went to someone and he's like oh do you want me to increase the temperature or decrease the temperature and i was like i had no feeling for this heat and cold maybe because i don't worry about it so i could observe this thing also that many people they have this feeling oh it is very hot it is very hot we turn on the ac i am also like them staying in the same area but because i am not much worried about this so this i could observe that some people feel that need of ac very desperately and some people they are not very desperate about ac so this i could see that we behave differently so there is a difference of self only because the outside weather is same people are the same in the way the self is interpreting the outside yeah. yes yes it is different yeah thank you vidhi thank you namaskar madam namaste namaskar to all uh, yesterday i observed uh, a pain in my stomach then i gave meaning uh, maybe due to some other food uh, i had taken before that uh, uh, maybe due to that uh, that pain has come not much a uh, little pain then i uh, regulated uh, my body by taking proper food later so uh, madam what i observed from these things maybe due to the sound of uh, the behavior of a person maybe due to the heat and coldness of uh, a physiochemical action outside event outside or maybe the pain in the head uh, events in the body uh, they are the sensations i am getting what i am not i am not the sensation so what i am observing i am unnecessarily reacting or i can say responding also uh, reacting in a negative way or uh, maybe maybe negative way uh unnecessarily disturbing for what i am not that's what i am observing i am not the sensation but i am unnecessarily reacting for what i am not so depending upon my competence level so only is, all these things are happening so finally from the beginning the only thing is that to increase the competence only because we are unnecessarily disturbing uh, for which I, we are not what i observed madam yeah one is that you are not that yes the other is that if i am happy within then mm -hmm. i will not keep searching for happiness outside really madam isn't it yeah, and right. also 
the kind of meaning that I give to it will depend on whatever I have assumed about it. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? So if, really? if in my past experience I've had what we call a bad experience hmm. with somebody, somebody cheated me, something like that. I may assume that I have to mistrust everybody. Yeah, we link it. Yeah. Or if I see that, you know, this person behaved this way, but everybody is not like that. This person may be lacking understanding. Now, my feeling is very different inside. Yes, madam. And I am very comfortable. Mm -hmm. I may still take precautions outside so that I am not getting cheated again. Mm -hmm. My feeling is one of relationship for the other person, that he lacks understanding. Still, I will take the precautions, not that I will just mm -hmm. accept everything the way it is and say, all right, I will bear this. Not like that. But whatever I have to do outside, I will do, but I will do with the right feeling within. Mm -hmm. That conclusion is mine. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you for your observation. Am I audible, Didi? Yes, you're audible. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, I had a, a kind of a very strange kind of experience. Um, I, uh, from, from outside our window, one can look in one of our windows. So one of our uh, neighbors, uh, el an elderly gentleman, uh, he tends to, when he going walking in the morning, he just tends to look in and, you know, uh, yeah, from outside and uh, when I uh, suddenly saw that he was just looking in through our window from that side I, the first reaction I you know within that I felt was uh, why are people looking in like that and you know this, it's, uh, we, we also have our privacy and things like that you know I started developing those negative thoughts and then I just you know thought over it and then I said uh, uh, isn't it that, uh, you know, it, it may be that he wants to just greet me and say hello. Why not? Why not? I, I also say good morning or something and greet him. And then, you know, and that way um, have a good in, uh, relationship also. So the moment I changed this outlook, I said, I felt, you know, this is an opportunity to have a good, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, interaction with somebody. But initially when I thought, you know, I, I felt my, um, uh, 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 what is it? my privacy was getting uh, uh, this, you know, what uh, infringed or whatever. So, you know, the way we look at it uh, suddenly, uh, the uh, our perspective suddenly changes and uh, the way we respond when we respond in a different way things seem to seem so different that yes. was one observation yes. and we respond because of the meaning that we have given to it no? exactly yeah, yeah. Right. Anyway, now since there are no more hands raised we'll go forward so this is giving some detail about how we are associating meaning we can look at this um, at the top left side. You can see some event is happening outside. Either the behavior of another human being or some physiochemical change. Because of that, there is some impact on the body. Some effect on the body. It leads to some sensation in the body. Now, this much is only happening in the body. Rest is all whatever I am you know, deciding about it. Rest is all happening in the self. So I choose to read that sensation. I may or may not read it that we have seen. It is my choice depending on what I think is important. Yeah? So if somebody is shouting, I may not even, if I am busy with my own thoughts, I may not even read that sensation of the sound falling on my ears. I may not taste the sensation, but I choose to read and taste the sensation. Then, 
once i read the sensation i start giving some meaning to that sensation depending on my sanskar like we said this sanskar could be an assumption which is without knowing without understanding in the lack of understanding or it could be an acceptance assumption or acceptance which is on the basis of understanding and that makes all the difference because i am either influenced by this sensation or i am not influenced according to the meaning i give like the so many examples that we took now and so many of you shared so i decide my feeling right or wrong meaning in line with natural acceptance or not in line with natural acceptance i choose my feeling based on whatever meaning i have given and therefore i am happy or unhappy if i have a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me i feel calm i feel comfortable i am happy within if i have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable to me i am going to be unhappy and therefore with that feeling my thoughts also go in that direction and then my behavior also follows so within me first of all even before we get to the behavior part within me i start reacting or responding so if i am you know accepting something on the basis of understanding you will see you respond within you you start seeing some concern for the other within you you are calm you are comfortable you have the right feeling so you respond but sometimes i may have some assumptions in the lack of understanding then it is not clear what is going to happen then i may react also if it is something that i have an acceptance for if the other person's behavior is something that i have acceptance for then i might respond but if it is something that i don't have acceptance for i might react like just now how deepa ji was sharing so if somebody is looking into my window one meaning i may give it is why are they interfering why are they looking inside don't they can't they mind their own business another way of looking at it can be that maybe they are trying to say hello to me and getting to know each other it may be nice as neighbors or nearby people let me go and take the first step and say hello now in both those instances you may actually do nothing you may still be just thinking about it but you will notice what you feel inside in the first case you feel very uncomfortable because you have a feeling of opposition and you are feeling you have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable to you so you are very uncomfortable you are unhappy and therefore this reaction but in the second case now you have given a different meaning so you are not um you know you're not having a feeling of opposition rather with the feeling of relationship you want to proceed so inside now you are responding so you'll find that this is what we keep doing this is still all happening within the self now if i choose to express this outside then i instruct my body and then if i instruct the body of course the body will act according to my instruction and the expression will happen outside so a lot of times we say you know so and so shouted but i kept quiet so it's okay it's okay at least it's better we are not shouting back outside but what about inside within the self that also we must take care because that's where the starting point is in the self outside is an expression sometimes we don't go up to the expression but inside we are reacting so i am going to be unhappy most of the time if i am reacting inside so i need to 
look at the meaning that I am giving to whatever sensation that reaches my body and I read it. In the case of some event that is happening within the body, now you can see nothing is stimulating from outside, but there are many events going on in the body and because of that there are some sensations in the body. Again, this much is happening in the body. But what I do with that, that is happening within me. So I am first of all choosing to read that sensation, paying attention to that sensation, reading that sensation, tasting that sensation. Then I am giving meaning to that sensation according to whatever I have assumed to be true. So this assumption could be based on knowing or understanding or it could be based on some assumption in the lack of understanding. And accordingly I give meaning to that sensation like the examples we were just taking about pain in the stomach and so on. So either I am influenced or I am not influenced by this event that happened within the body. So if I have understanding, I have already ensured the right feeling within me. Then this event in the body doesn't influence me. It is there, I can read it. But the meaning I give it is now different. I may see that this is some disharmony in the body and I will take responsibility and try to correct it. On the other hand, if I lack understanding, I may not be having the right feeling within me. I am getting impacted by this event in the body. See, I am influenced by that. And I am deciding my feeling on the basis of this event. So if the event in the body, if there is pain and I think that this is uh, something serious hmm, and I am worried about it, now you can see that I am choosing a feeling that is not naturally acceptable to me. I am disturbed, I am unhappy. But if I get the information that this is nothing major, this is okay, it is just some uh, disturbance and so you take this medicine and it will be okay. Now I may have a different outlook to it. I may feel happy. Either way here I am getting influenced by the outside situation. Outside meaning outside the self but in the body. So I am getting influenced by that situation and if it is to my liking, I, am, uh, I feel happy, what I call happy. And if I, it is not to my liking, I am disturbed. But ultimately, if I have the right understanding, then I can have the right feeling all the time. Then I need not be impacted by this. So I am influenced or not influenced. I decide my feeling naturally acceptable or not naturally acceptable and accordingly I am happy or unhappy. So within me, if I have the right feeling, I respond. If my assumption is based on knowing, on understanding, I will respond. But if I lack understanding, then I may respond or I may react depending on you know, how I interpret it. And all this going on within me, then if I choose to express it outside, then I instruct my body. Then the body acts according to my instruction and there is an expression outside. So this, you can see that the major role of all, you know, in all of these is the meaning that we give 
to these sensations. We'll do a 10 minute observation and then we'll come back to questions. So try to observe this within yourself, how this is happening and what kind of meaning we are giving. Are we getting impacted by it or not? What kind of feeling do we have? What kind of thoughts are running inside us? Are we responding or reacting within? We'll try to observe this for 10 minutes. Then we'll come back to the questions. So I'll mute myself here for 10 minutes. Okay, we've been observing for about 10 minutes. Yes, so we can take some observations or questions. Namaste, Didi. Namaste, all. Namaste. <coughs> Uh, by now, I understand that self and body, they are two separate entities mm -hmm. and uh, self uses the body as an instrument. Mm -hmm. For example, somebody shouts at me, is it that the body first receives it or the self? Suppose if the, uh, in case of giving, in giving the example of Buddha, because uh, uh, while somebody assaults him or uh, abuses him with words, uh, he just, and next moment when it, he's asked that what is you, why you didn't give any reaction, he told that what he told, I don't know. So that means that <clears throat> at self level, he discards all the, the the outcome of the shouting, for example. And then um, body is not involved. So my query is, uh, is that possible that the body is uh, sidelined and it is directly dealt by the self? Yes. So you can see very clearly that any physiochemical change outside will have some impact on the body. Isn't not? Yes. So the body, there is some impact on the body. Now what I decide to do with that, that is entirely up to me. So you'll see that, yes. you know, the body doesn't have a choice in receiving or not receiving that. No, it can't choose to not be impacted by the outside situation. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Yes. Like the body can't decide that somebody is shouting, I don't want to hear it, I will not pay attention. Mm -hmm. The sound will reach the ears. Mm -hmm. If the person is close by, if the person is shouting, the sound will reach the ears, isn't it? Yes, it reaches. But uh, in case of uh, sanskar, it is already built that. Uh, that will have no meaning there. It's ah, but who has the sanskar? I have the sanskar, na? I am yeah, giving yeah. the meaning. Hmm. So you have to see the two very distinctly that some effect is happening, some impact is there on the body. Now, what kind of meaning I give to that? Yeah? That will hmm. decide how I respond or react to that. Yeah. Whether I read it or not, that is also my choice. So if mm. somebody is saying something in a different language, I don't understand the words. No? Mm. So I don't attach any meaning to it because I may not even pay attention to it. Isn't it? Yes. Like so many sounds may be there. I may not pay attention. Hmm. Like right now, you are listening to me, you are paying attention to the words I am saying. But there hmm. are also birds chirping outside. Hmm. That sound also through the Zoom connection may be reaching your ears. But you may not be paying attention to it. Yeah, yes. Isn't it? Hmm. So, you will find that the body doesn't have a choice in the matter. The body, some impact will be there on the body. But what kind of meaning I give to that, how I interpret that, 
that decides whether i will have the right feeling or not whether i will respond or react na it depends on what kind of meaning i attach to it yes is that okay yes 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 thank you thank you yes so today all day we'll try to do this this part that we'll observe any sensation in the body and see that you are choosing to read that sensation taste that sensation try to observe that you are giving some meaning to that sensation that you are reading and try to observe whether the meaning you are giving is it based on understanding or is it based on an assumption lacking understanding see if you are getting influenced or not influenced by this sensation and what kind of feeling are you choosing to have because you have a choice there notice if you are comfortable inside happy within or uncomfortable unhappy are you responding inside or reacting and then do you give the instruction to the body does it follow so this i'll put in the group also this we have to observe all day today and then tomorrow we'll take your observations